should be pretty straightforward. How are you guys doing tonight? Good. All right. Uh, so, my name is Ryan Miller, and I am here to show you guys Chrono Test Manager. That probably sounds really weird, but we're going to rock with it anyway. Uh, what is it, you might be wondering. Uh, Chrono Test Manager is an automated test case management program um, that uh, was developed by myself and my mentor, Ed Kerr, who is hanging out in the back, the cool guy leaning against the wall. Uh, what exactly does it do? It allows the user to manage, track, view, edit, and execute automated test cases all from a single application. Why is it? Uh, so automated testing uh, and just automation in general across technology, as far as we know right now, is the big major wave, specifically in my industry, uh, where I am a uh, quality assurance engineer. Uh, I work at a firm in town, and this is something that would help me with my regular day-to-day -day job. Um, I wanted to learn about building something from start to finish, uh, and I wanted experience outside of web development. A lot of the firms that I worked at were mostly web development firms. Most of my testing was all front-end UI stuff, uh, and I wanted to get my hands dirty with something different. And honestly, automation is just really fun. So uh, how is it? Uh, so uh, it's powered by a few different modules. Um, really kind of simple because I'm still very new to uh, coding and being on the developer end of things instead of the tester end of things. Uh, I use WX Python, um, Selenium, and the WebDriver, which is pretty popular as far as automated testing goes. Um, and some other pretty standard modules, uh, logging, OS, all that good stuff. What was my experience? Uh, so coming into the program, uh, it was pretty straightforward. It's like, you know, this won't be too bad, you know. Obviously, I can't do much because I'm really new and don't know what I'm doing. Um, and I've got months, so it'll be fine. Uh, after uh, today, oh my god, panels, please go where I'm telling you just this once. Can you please be cool? Um, I had the moment of, ah, I did it. But you know, it would be really cool if we could do this too, and that just spirals out of control. Uh, why is there never enough time? Uh, screaming into the abyss, uh, usually in a coffee-fueled rage, but also pride, <laughs> gratitude, and desire for more. Uh, so from my inception, uh, this is the first time I've ever had to do any sort of mock-up or design for an app that I built, because I've never built an app before. Uh, and so this is what it looked like <laughs> in MS Paint when uh, Ed and I tried to figure out what it would sort of look like and how we could sort of build this thing out. Um, as you can see, I wasn't very creative with uh, names and such. But I'll show you what it looks like today. You can take a look at what I've got going on. Uh, I'm going to zoom through this because I have a minute left now. Uh, but the general gist of this is uh, we've got on the left side a file directory. On the right side, this is a logging screen uh, where should a person execute a test, uh, it will pull up here. The test will be driven by the web driver, pop up. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to look for different element IDs, verify and assert that uh, different things are on the page where they should be. This test is going to fail, as implied by its name, landing page and negative. You get your results in this fancy window. If you wanted to make any edits to the test cases, you can hit Edit Selected File. From there, it will open your uh, native text editor. Uh, in which you can see that looking for the ID fake news is not going to get you anything you need, uh, especially from Yahoo. Uh, there's a couple of other elements here, but uh, I'm a little short on time. But what I will say is that uh, I've got some ideas on where to go next. And I wanted to take a second to give shout outs to my mentor, Ed, who was one of the greatest humans I've ever met. Uh, the program, Chippy, thank you guys for having me. Uh, the fellow mentees who gave me great ideas. And uh, yeah, all of you for being here. Thank you.